Hey, hi, I'm going to be talking about a very interesting concept of why money is considered as energy. Okay, uh, I was listening to this video uh, by Brian Rose and he said, let me try to bring two people in the room, which is just unimaginable. One is John Cordon and another is Hindu monk Gandapani. John Cordon is a person who flies in a private jet with his wife and two kids and has 10 x uh, his uh, money and business, right? And you would never uh, uh, imagine that John Cordon and Dandapani would be in one room. Dandapani is a Hindu, Hindu monk, uh, you know, who's uh, spent 10 years in his life finding about himself and his being. Okay, now definitely these two were the people who actually taught uh, him and, definitely, and me uh, nowadays of money being a kind of energy. Having attended a lot of workshops through Success Dhyan, uh, where the, these are one of the aspects that, uh, you know, T. Havaker and of the world, one of the things that uh, we need to really be conscious of is to consider money as a form of energy. Energy is something that flows. It doesn't remain stagnant in one place. So I have been working on this for the past, uh, I mean, uh, now. And one of the things that is that if you keep, if, you know, there was this leader who put the money on the table and said, what is this? And the person opposite to him said, this is just, this is money. So he said, it, it is money, if, but it, it is just a piece of paper. It is kept on the table and it's not put to use, right? So if there is money and if it is in the, in the process of flow, then, you know, what gives, uh, 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 what you give comes back to you, what goes around comes back around, like we say in the uh, BNI meetings, right? So uh, the whole concept is uh, uh, that you invest whatever money that you have, you invest for yourself in terms of an education or charity or stock, whatever it is, but it needs to be circulating continuously. It shouldn't be kept stagnant. So the moment it is kept stagnant, the flow isn't happening and the energy is not flowing. So you give and it comes back. Okay, so, you know, I uh, the first thing that you would do with your child is to tell your child that, you know, you would save so much amount of money so that the child uses it in the future. But somehow I feel that would not work because I want my child also to sort of make it, have, have it in the flow of things so that you put it in there wherever it is required and then it comes back to you in double or triple forms. Uh, a lot of us do this, we put it in investment stocks, we also need to think of it in terms of uh, investing it for ourselves in terms of education and keeping it in the flow of things okay this is what i have learned from these uh, uh, from the various workshops and the reading that i have done uh, on uh, brian rose's john Corden, and the hindu monks of the world all of them uh, are, are, are you know keeping it in the flow so when you pump it in back uh, uh, to people, you know, people will come back to you saying, oh, so for, for whatever value or service that you provide, I'm willing to give a little bit of money and um, for this. But one thing that you need to be very, very aware of is that uh, you need to provide value. The more value do, that you provide, the money will automatically come. But you need to, uh, you know, go on keeping it in the flow too. So whatever energy that you pump in, you know, comes back in various forms to you. Okay, so this was a revelation to me. Think of money as energy. Think of it as flowing. Okay, because if you keep it stagnant, then it probably will not come back to you. And charity, as my digital mentor says, even if you have 100 rupees in your bank account, it's important that you put some amount in charity because that's the way it flows. Okay, whether it is Bill Gates or Steve Jobs of the world, they put most of their money uh, you know, for charity because they, they know of the concept of money being, uh, uh, you know, a form of energy. So charity or giving away, even if you don't have anything at this point of time, it's important to give away that little bit of money for charity so that it comes back to you. This is extremely important. My digital mentor has taught, taught me to do this more. Though you are conscious of it, uh, though you know it, you're not consciously doing it on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you start doing this, you will see that it will flow back to you. Thank you for watching and uh, do attend my masterclass on Saturdays and uh, Tuesdays and to know more about the thing. Thanks. Bye-bye. Take care.